welcome to Inside Edition Animals. Here are some hair-raising animal rescues. These people stepped up to help out animals in distress in 2020. A wild horse was at risk of starving to death after getting stuck in a muddy pond, but rescuers weren't going to let that happen. Okay, we got it. That's right. That's right on her bum. Good job. The 45-minute effort to free her was led by the Help Alberta Wildies Society, which advocates to protect free-roaming bands of wild horses. Some members out on patrol spotted the filly, and they say she had been stuck for about five hours. The team effort involved ropes, winches, and even a golf cart, but it all worked to free the horse. Just keep pulling her out. Once back on her feet, the hungry horse didn't stick around long enough to celebrate her freedom with her rescuers. Come on, boy. Out, let's go. It was going to take a lot more than tough talk to get this horse out of its stable, which was going up in flames. Officer Matthew Reese came upon the scene in Helltown Township, Pennsylvania, and was alerted to a horse that refused to budge from the burning barn. Out, let's go. Another officer helped, but it wasn't enough. They needed every hand on deck. Help us pull! Help us! Help us pull! Eventually, the horse got the message that it was time to go, and it took off running. Not a moment too soon. You okay? Holy, dude. Holy, dude. Good job. It was a rescue reversal, as a team of humans had to save a St. Bernard dog from a mountaintop. Daisy was on a hike with her owners on the tallest mountain in England when she started showing signs of distress. Her owners called for help and a group of volunteer rescuers stepped up. The Wasdale Mountain Rescue Team trekked all the way to the summit, 3,200 feet above sea level to get Daisy down. They brought a stretcher and strapped her in. Then they began their descent, carrying the 120-pound dog all the way down the mountain. It was a long walk through uneven terrain, but Daisy was a good girl throughout the whole journey. We have to go and rescue this dog. It's in the middle of the lake. One couple couldn't just sail by without helping a dog stranded in open water. Rebecca Champ and her husband, Quentin, were on their boat in Houston, Texas, when they spotted the pup but they couldn't seem to get close enough with their boat. And so when we motored up to it, it started swimming away. So then I, I said, okay, you gotta take over and I'm gonna have to go in and get it. Quentin stripped to his underwear and went in. He was able to get the dog safely on the boat. The poor thing was exhausted. Who knows how long he had been out there. They took him home and posted their story to Facebook, which helped them find him a loving home. We got a bear here. Poor thing's got a tub on its head. Oh, he's getting scared. This little bear was in a similar situation, swimming around a Wisconsin lake with a plastic jug on its head. Lucky for the bear, a kind couple spotted it and offered to help. They had to tread lightly because they thought the frightened bear might attack, but they persisted and helped free the cub. We saved our little bear. Good job, buddy. Let's happy. What's behind door number one? Hello. Oh, it came out? Oh! Now that's an adorable surprise. Firefighters in Australia were called to help a kitten that got stuck in the walls of its house. The animal's human family said they could hear the cat, but couldn't find it. And when they realized it could be stuck in a wall, they called in professionals. Firefighters were careful not to harm the cat while cutting the wall, and this rescue was just perfect. But some animals don't want to be rescued. Hi, little guy. A cat stranded on the bank of London's River Thames wasn't happy to see Coast Guards who showed up to help. Okay, mate. This rescuer was brave enough to try and trap the animal, but his grip wasn't good enough. Okay, mate. No. This survives us down job, isn't it? The cat fought back and escaped back into the river, but soon found itself in deep water. This determined rescuer made another attempt to save the cat and was successful. Once they got the cat onto a nearby dock, it was eager to take its leave. Can you hold the snakes now? 
and this python is having a bad case of indigestion. That's because it swallowed a whole beach towel. Vets in Australia worked carefully to get it out by pulling and pulling and pulling until... Oh, yeah! The staff was elated, and the python was probably relieved. Uh, yeah! An intruder at a police facility gave some officers quite the scare. It happened at the California Highway Patrol's Commercial Vehicle Enforcement Facility in Donner Pass. Imagine their surprise when this bear casually turned the doorknob and let itself in. It must not have been hungry because it completely bypassed the vending machines. The bear's reflection in the glass window shows once inside, it walked through another doorway and down a hall. But moments later, it seems to have changed its mind, turning right around and leaving through the same door where it came in. A couple of officers tried to chase the bear, but they may have just wanted to make sure it was gone. No one was harmed and the bear didn't damage the building. Police say they're not looking for the suspect, although they believe it returned a few nights later and took a stroll through their parking lot. Maybe the bear learned its lesson that just because you can open a door doesn't mean you should. There's no doubt this gator is a head turner. Check out those deer behind him that went out of their way to stop and stare. Just short of 12 feet, People who saw the big guy at an activity center in South Carolina say he was less interested in animals and humans and more concerned about getting to his next pond. By the looks on these deer's faces, they're happy to hear that news. But according to an expert, alligators are more of a threat when they're in the water. She says as long as you keep your distance, you should be okay. Meanwhile, the hunky gator and his potential prey have been coexisting for years. Seems like it's something everyone has just learned to deer with. This baby elephant struggles to keep its head above water as villagers in Thailand work to save it. The youngster had fallen into a well on a rubber plantation. Even worse, its mother was unable to help. She'd gotten stuck on a nearby electric fence, then dropped, stunned from the shock before quickly recovering. Rescuers used an excavator to clear a path for the baby elephant to climb up. Once it was out, it ran off with its mom. A scary situation that thankfully had a happy ending. Well, here's an unusual tourist who made its way to New York City. Have you ever seen such a dazzling duck? Look at the crowds watching in awe. <laughs> It's a mandarin duck, usually found in Japan and China. So how the heck did it end up more than 7,000 miles away in New York City's Central Park? The bird is so breathtaking that it would be easy to mistake it for a floating rubber ducky toy. New York's most eligible bachelor goes this headline. It's amazing. It's such an incredible pleasure to have him here. I skipped work today for this duck. And look who we found. Harry Smith of NBC News. It's breathtaking to be able to see this bird in person mm -hmm. and just wandering around, meandering out there with the mallards. Come on! Experts are narrowing down how the duck ended up in the Big Apple so far from home. It's probably an escape bird from a captive program someplace, probably somebody's private collection. Here's one clue, a tag on its leg. Maybe it has a number and then we can go to a captive registry and see where the bird came from. It may be gorgeous fall weather in New York today, but winter is coming. Can this delicate beauty survive a bitter New York winter? For those of you who are worried about whether this duck can survive or not in New York, don't worry, as Jerry Seinfeld liked to say, don't worry, it'll do just fine. There's plenty of food, no problem for this bird. <laughs> Into the water, you penguins. A dozen of the tuxedoed birds were released back into their natural habitat off the Atlantic coast of Argentina. The Magellanic penguins needed some human help to get there. They've been found in a state of malnutrition and dehydration. That meant their feather coats were not protecting them from the cool ocean temperatures. An animal rescue center at the Mundo Marino Foundation helped nurse the birds back to health. Feedings, vet checkups, and blood work. Once they got the all clear, the rescuers brought the 12 feathered friends back to the beach. 
Magellanic penguins are named after Ferdinand Magellan, the 16th century Portuguese explorer who led the first expedition to travel around the world. These little travelers won't have to go quite so far. Magellanic penguins are native to Argentina and Chile. The Waddle-up penguins needed a little bit of encouragement once they were let out of their enclosure. As they waddle, then swim into the waves, their human caretakers bid them farewell. Adios, pinguinos. Free Willy! Matt Capron jumped into the water off the coast of San Diego when he and his buddies came upon a young whale caught in a lobster trap rope. It was wrapped around the, uh, the tail of the whale. Probably had, I don't know, six or seven wraps on it or so. So none, none of us on the boat were going to let that stay that way. Using a fillet knife, Matt cut each loop of the rope one by one. Get him. Until the whale was free. Get him free. Good job, Matt. A. I was just excited to get in and try to help it and to, to be in the water with uh, with a whale. It's just, I mean, it was the chance of a lifetime. Good job. Save the whale today. More Inside Edition animals when we return. Here's a question. Why is this dog spinning in circles, dragging a broom around and around and around? Well, why not? Welcome back. Did you know that alligators have an unusual way of dealing with cold weather? Take a look. I want to make sure that he's doing all right and he's fighting me. So I know he's doing good. It seems spring has sprung in North Carolina because alligators that were once frozen underwater are surfacing again. Some people went to check on the gators in Shallot River Swamp Park to see how they fared in the frigid temperatures. Oh, Lord, he's having a good time. Workers say reptiles go into a lethargic state, similar to hibernation in cold weather, so they can stay frozen in one area for days. You hear him hissing? Wow. Now that they're all thawed out, these gators are feisty and probably hungry. So don't try to do what he's doing if you happen to cross paths with one. Two giant pandas were caught on camera, viciously fighting. It happened in the wild, in China's Sichuan province. The duel lasted for 17 minutes, during which the two gnashed and clawed at each other. At the end of the brawl, one of the pandas appeared to have suffered facial injuries. That kicked off an ongoing search effort from the community, who want to make sure the injured panda gets treated for its wounds. We usually think of pandas as being cute and cuddly. Case in point, this panda at the Moscow Zoo, who got to play with a toy rocket. But however cute they are, that doesn't mean they can't mix it up when they need to. The quarrel between these two pandas was likely over mating rights. Giant pandas are incredibly rare. There are fewer than 1,900 living in the wild, all in Southwest China and researchers want to make sure every last one of them is as safe as possible. There's bears in the pool! There sure are a whole family of them. This was the unbelievable scene in Rockaway Township, New Jersey, as a mama bear and her five cubs decided to have a pool party. They look like teddy bears, don't they? The bears splash around in the backyard swimming pool, just like any family on these hot, muggy days. They're brothers and sisters. They got a nice, cool dip in the pool. But as cute as the scene is, one of the little girls watching from safety inside her house is really upset. They took my floaty! Dad's got a bigger problem. They're going to be poking holes with their feet in the floor. We're going to have to buy a new pool. Not till next year, babes. I don't know, sweetie. I think our pool is shot. 
As happens with youngins, these cubs find the rest of the backyard irresistible. They just have to try out the slide. Hmm, that floaty sure is tasty. I wish the fans were in someone else's yard, not ours. Well, I'm enjoying it. There's a scary moment, too, as Mama Bear starts playing with the pool's pump. It's plugged in to the electrical supply. Hey, Mama Bear. Oh, that's not good. No, you're going to electric. Oh, no! No! Not to worry. When the video resumes, Mama Bear's safe and sound. Finally, playtime's over. The pool empties and the bears head on out. They're going to someone else's backyard. Now, the Basso family is left with some amazing video of the bear family that dropped by for a pool party. There's bears in the pool! The world's loneliest elephant will be lonely no more, thanks to superstar Cher, who couldn't let him spend the rest of his days alone. Kavan spent 35 years living in abysmal conditions at a zoo in Pakistan, where he was only taken out of his cage for performances, according to his rescuers. Things got worse for him about eight years ago when his partner died from an infection. Since then, animal advocates say his mental and physical health has been on the decline, and they pushed for him to be retired to a sanctuary. Hello, this week, after years of advocating for Kavan, Cher got to see him leave Pakistan for his new life in Cambodia. She fed him some fruit and sang to him before his long journey. No matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing. Then Kavan was loaded onto a crate and put on a plane for a 10 hour flight. Cher was waiting for him when he landed in Cambodia to welcome him to a better future. Her organization, Free the Wild, worked with animal welfare group Four Paws and other donors to help make this rescue happen. Kavan was then loaded onto a truck and taken to the sanctuary, where he will quarantine before being released to meet the other elephants that he will hopefully befriend. After years of suffering, finally a happy ending. The biting, the wrestling. It may look rough, but they're actually playing. Four-year-old Rami is an Alaskan Malamute, and Andreika is a 10-month-old bear cub. The two are best friends who live at a zoo in Siberia. Their adorable roughhousing and friendship is about more than having someone to play with. Andreika was weak and in poor health when she was found by a zoo employee earlier this year. Since then, the bear cub has gained weight and strength, partly through the sparring she does with Rami, the Malamute. Andreika will eventually be released into the wild. When that time comes, Rami will miss her best friend, but she's been through this process before. Rami has seen three generations of bear cubs rehabilitated and returned to their natural habitats. And until Andreika goes back to the wild, expect lots of frolicking with her canine furry friend. Who wouldn't want a bear cub for a buddy? Come on, baby. And with that, an endangered species of seal just got a new member, as this little pup was born on a beach in Hawaii. The happy moment was caught on camera by an employee of the Hawaii State Department of Land and Natural Resources. Mother and pup are Hawaiian monk seals. These two live on the island of Oahu, where they don't have a lot of company. Only 300 or so monk seals call the island home. The rest of the world's monk seals live in the northwestern Hawaiian islands. There are only around 1,400 monk seals in existence. With numbers so low, every birth is something of a miracle. This little one, who is given the name P05, is now getting to know its mom, while wildlife officials monitor the pair at a safe distance. And that goes for everybody else as well. Beachgoers are encouraged to give a wide berth to seal moms and pups and to keep their dogs leashed at all times while they're on the beach. The monk seals may need a little help from humans, but they definitely don't need any additional intrusions. 
A homeless, blind, elderly dog was taken in by a vet ranch in Texas, and he suffered many medical problems. He was limping, he had severe teeth problems, a tumor, hookworms, tapeworms, and fleas. He is a stray that they found, so his coat is really greasy, covered in fleas. It seems like he was possibly living under a car. They named him Cappy and treated his fur, took him through dental surgery, dewormed him, and he had a tumor removed. He received cataract surgery where doctors removed his lenses and replaced them with artificial ones to restore his eyesight. Hey, bud. How's it going? Those are going to bug him for a little bit, huh? Yeah. Let's get him home. His life was transformed, and he was finally able to see. And you're all caught up, but you don't walk right, and you don't talk right, and there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong, babe. I know what you're going through. I know, because I've been there, too. Seven weeks later, he was healthy and adopted by a rescuer that specializes in older terriers. He'll now live out the rest of his life in his new home. It's the annual holiday tradition. <laughs> transporting a giant Christmas tree to Rockefeller Center in New York City. But this year, the 75-foot Norway spruce came with quite a surprise. Hiding inside the branches, this adorable little owl. It was quite the remarkable three-day journey. The giant tree was cut down in Oneonta, New York, and transported 200 miles to Midtown Manhattan. The owl was only discovered as a worker was setting up the famous Rockefeller Christmas tree. He gently wrapped the owl in a blanket and took the creature to a local wildlife center where he was nursed back to health and fittingly named Rockefeller, or Rocky for short. How is Rocky doing now? He's doing great. He's um, eating up a storm. He took a bath. Um, on his own. Here's the owl today, looking happy and healthy. What's next for Rocky? Saturday, we will release him at around dusk. He'll be on his own once we open up that the crate. And while the owl is bringing some much needed spirit to the upcoming holiday season, the tree itself isn't getting much love. The 11 ton spruce looked magnificent when it was cut down, but upon arrival at Rockefeller Center after the long trek, it definitely looked worse for wear. The woebegone tree is now seen as the perfect metaphor for this miserable year. In true 2020 form, the tree looks like it tried to cut its own hair. Thanks for watching. More Inside Edition streaming is coming up. Powerful stories that change the way you think. Impactful investigations that change the way you see. How many times has your car been stolen? Five times. Yeah. What? Do you think that you're a responsible owner of tigers? I damn sure do. Mm, I love it. Heartwarming moments that change the way you feel. <laughs> Amazing. Now available in a place that changes the way you watch TV. Inside Edition, streaming. Welcome to Inside Edition Animals. I'm Stephanie Officer. And let's just jump in with some wild animal stories. Hippos, parrots, and cows. Oh my, 2021 was chock full of wild animal stories. Ow. Remember when hundreds of peacocks took over this Los Angeles neighborhood? Yeah. The colorful, majestic birds caused quite a ruckus with their mating calls. Ah. And this couple is lucky to be alive. Oh, no. After a rabid bobcat attacked them in their North Carolina driveway. Oh, just the bobcat. Christy Wade's hero husband, aptly named Happy, jumped into action and saved her. It was mouth was open and it was going at her neck. I was just able to shove my hand in there and it, it bit me on my arm. Then there was this very lucky penguin who swam for his life to get away from a pack of killer whales looking for lunch. He runs to find shelter on a tourist boat. Oh, Not quite. Then success. Yeah. 
And who could forget Prancer the Chihuahua? He looks innocent enough. <laughs> but Prancer was dubbed the worst dog in America when he was put up for adoption. He hates people, mostly men, which our Les Trent found out firsthand. So if I went, if I went to try to pet... He would get upset. Really? Yeah. So, hey, hi. You're okay. 2021 was also full of heartwarming animal moments. Like when these beluga whales made the journey from an overcrowded aquarium in Canada to the Mystic Aquarium in Connecticut. Looks like they're enjoying the live entertainment at their new home. And in 2022, may we all find as much joy as these dogs did at their pool party. While this cat may have taken a cue from Garfield in the past. Once again, my life has been saved by the miracle of lasagna. He won't be eating anything close to junk food for a while. Tipping the scale around 40 pounds, Simba the cat is about to embark on a weight loss journey fit for a contestant on The Biggest Loser. His owners had to give him up when they moved into an assisted living facility and couldn't take him. It was then the Humane Rescue Alliance learned their new friend weighed nearly 40 pounds. A quick staff favorite, because of his sweet disposition, the team set a goal weight for Simba of 18 to 20 pounds, about 20 less than he is now. They're changing his diet to start, and he'll eventually begin an exercise routine. Simba can only take a couple of steps right now without getting tired. He was just adopted by a family that will help keep him on his diet. We'll just do our he looks pretty happy already. Let's just hope they haven't bitten off more than they can chew. How do you arrest a sea lion? <laughs> That's what police in Washington state had to figure out recently after a 600 pound sea lion was spotted two miles from water. Okay, not a rest exactly, but the large mammal needed to get out of the middle of the road. Wildlife officials held up large flat surfaces to try to deter the sea lion from going deeper into the forest. It wasn't an easy task. The sea lion clearly didn't appreciate it. The creature lunged at officials before doing an about face and lumbering back down the road. After several tense moments, they were able to corral the seal and walrus relative into a pen on a truck. The sea lion still wasn't loving it, but likely it was a lot happier when it got to go back to the water. And a much smaller, cuter version of the species also needed some help recently. Drivers in Long Beach, California spotted this sea lion pup trying to cross a busy freeway. When the highway patrol showed up, the pup crawled under one of their cars. Officers were eventually able to snare the little one and bring her to the Marine Mammal Care Center in San Pedro. Every year we find a few animals that are very far out of habitat. I don't think she knew she was headed for the freeway, so she probably didn't know where she was headed. The pup will eventually be headed back to her natural habitat after putting on some weight and learning how to hunt and feed herself. Parrots have proven to be trusty sidekicks. <laughs> and sometimes they say the darndest things. <laughs> like this parrot, who some believe witnessed his owner's murder. Bud belonged to Marty Durham, who was shot to death in 2015. His wife, Glenna, was also shot but survived. After Marty's death, Bud went to live with Marty's ex-wife, who says the bird seemed to be reenacting an argument he may have heard. When Bud says those words, I feel like it's being relived in front of me. Glenna Durham is currently serving life in prison without the possibility of parole for the crime. Another parrot refused to leave its human in his time of need. Firefighters responded to help a man stuck in the mud and found he wasn't alone. His pet parrot was clinging to his shoulder the whole time. This was a pretty tame pet, so that, that helped. I mean, he was uh, more than happy to stay on his owner's shoulder and uh, uh, ride the whole ride back to the, the shore. 
The bird was the reason they both got into that mess in the first place, because it flew into the mud of a recently dredged lake and got stuck. When its owner went to get it out of the mud, he became stuck himself. Hopefully, the parrot will let the person lead the way from now on. When a lost parrot was in trouble in California, it knew just where to go for help, the local police station. Verde the parrot somehow got out of his home and found himself being chased by a hawk. So he flew into the nearest open window, which happened to lead to the office of Chief Billy Green of the Fontana Police. The department put out a notice that they found the bird and soon after the family came to claim him. This is one bright bird. Alexa, oh my God. Petra the parrot entertains herself by getting Amazon's Alexa to turn on all the lights in the house. She has a good chuckle at her antics. <laughs> no word of her owners also laugh at their electric bill. This pranking parrot decided to crash a reporter's live shot. Australian journalist Brittany Clayen was taken completely by surprise. I can't get it off me. Oh my God, oh my God, can you please get it off me? It's not funny, Burger. It's not funny. She was not happy the wayward parrot chose this moment to have its close up. Someone came to take the parrot off her shoulder, and she continued on with her job like a pro. It turns out the bird's name was Lola, and she was lost. Appearing on television actually helped her reunite with her owner. Brittany was there for the reunion where she and Lola called a truce. And is this the parrot that cried wolf? Help me! Diego started crying out for help when he was home alone one day. Not that he needed it, but the UPS delivery man who heard him thought it was a person in distress and asked his wife to call 911. Hi, um, my husband is a delivery driver. He just called me saying that um, one of the doors he just knocked on, there was somebody saying, help me on the inside. We'll get someone to swing by and take a look at him. Police turned up at the house, and when they got inside, they found the culprit. Help me! Diego's human says he calls out for help because he really doesn't like being left alone. He's very people-oriented. He likes to have me around. Help! And Diego certainly got some attention that day. He's the giant black bear wreaking havoc in Lake Tahoe, California. I just watched a bear go right into the house. Hank the Tank weighs 500 pounds. He has busted into at least 28 homes. More than 150 calls have come into local law enforcement as the enormous beast broke windows, smashed down doors, and ransacked garages in his endless quest for food. He's going to yeah. do terrible damage. Yeah, it's the same. He's already been in my house once. Hank the Tank is double the size of an average black bear. Look at the size of his paw print next to a man's boot. The bear's back. I think it's Hank the Tank. Blogger Sonia Gillum was shocked when she came face to face with Hank outside her vacation home while friends and family were enjoying the hot tub. I was terrified. I was one of the moms jumping, dropping my drink, jumping over the fence, grabbing the kids. The black bear population has tripled over the last three decades. And with the surge in fires destroying their natural habitats, all types of bears are making their way into populated neighborhoods to survive. Who could forget this terrifying video of a teen girl in Southern California protecting her dogs, fighting off a mama bear? In the moment, I wasn't really thinking straight, but after all, I'm really glad about the outcome, that everyone is safe, that I'm safe. This 66-year-old woman was mauled by a black bear inside her Lake Tahoe cabin. There's fierce debate in the Lake Tahoe area about what to do if and when Hank the Tank is caught. All options are on the table. And euthanasia, uh, sadly, is also on the table. It's a measure of last resort. The stork made a surprise delivery to the San Diego Zoo Safari Park, the second in as many months. Zookeepers say they weren't expecting to see what they did when they went to check on one of their expectant elephants. They found she had given birth to her calf in the middle of the night. During previous pregnancies, she had given birth late and wasn't due for another few weeks. Not only was the staff surprised to see the little girl calf, they were also surprised at how big she was. She weighed in at 281 pounds. Elephant calves usually weigh between 200 and 268 pounds when they're born. 
And this baby broke a record for biggest calf to be born at the safari park. A record that was just recently broken. On August 12th, a male calf was born also in the middle of the night. He weighed 270 pounds at birth, and at the time he was the biggest calf born at the zoo. It was a short-lived victory. The staff says the elephants are getting along well and enjoying the new additions to their herd. But if this trend keeps up, they're going to need bigger accommodations. When we come back, a bear crashes a DJ set while he's live streaming. A little boy is so eager to get home, he runs right into the glass door. Ouch! Then his dog does the exact same thing. Oh no! Are you okay? Welcome back to Inside Edition Animals. Here is the incredible journey a beluga whale took to an aquarium. It's incredible video of a magnificent beluga whale being transported to its new home. The whale is one of five making the journey from an overcrowded aquarium in Canada to the Mystic Aquarium in Connecticut. The epic move started aboard this cargo plane designed to carry military tanks. Each whale was transported in a custom designed container filled with seawater. Then they were loaded onto a flatbed truck and brought to the aquarium with a police escort in the dead of night. The 10 foot long belugas, which are an endangered species, were hoisted out of the containers by a crane and lowered into a cart. Swing right through that black gate. Staff wheeled the young whales, which ranged from 760 to 1,200 pounds, into the aquarium where they were lowered and released into their new home. Uh making quite a splash. It took uh, enormous uh, logistical coordination, and of course just moving, if you imagine moving five whales is no easy feat. The thing about cats having nine lives, it seems to have held true for one feline in Greece. Last year, Perseus the cat was brought to a veterinary clinic in the town of Larissa. The poor homeless kitty had suffered a terrible injury, He'd lost three of his legs. It was suspected he'd been hit by a car or been caught in a car engine. Veterinarian Sophia Zoy wanted to help the little monopod. She worked with a team of designers and engineers who came up with a high-tech solution for Perseus. It wasn't easy. Cats themselves are feats of engineering. Perseus gets his name from ancient Greek mythology. Perseus was a hero who slayed the monster Medusa. The constellation of Perseus, said to depict that scene, is visible in the northern sky. So Cat Perseus had a lot to live up to. His human team fashioned titanium legs and used 3D printing to craft new paws. And once he was fitted with them, he was able to cat once more, ready for new adventures. Look at this guy. You are beautiful. He's a big guy. You are beautiful, bud. These rescuers enjoyed this mission a little too much. When an owl got caught in a baseball net at a high school in New York, these groundskeepers showed up to free it. His wing's getting torn up. Yeah, I see. I see where it's stuck right here. Yeah. They were gentle in cutting it loose and tried to put the bird at ease. Hey, bud, you're okay. Good it's boy. Okay. Good. Yeah, good. It's all right. Good boy and they couldn't help but gush over the adorable creature. Look at this guy. You are beautiful. He's a big guy. You are beautiful, bud. Look okay. at you. But it soon came time to say goodbye. Once they untangled the owl from the net, it was time for him to go. Come on. All right. Come on. Go. Let him go. There he go. goes. <laughs> Here's hoping they meet again under better circumstances. That was amazing. This new koala joey is more than cute. He's good news for the entire species. We've only just seen him in the last two weeks, so around eight months old, although it seems weird, that's the right time to come out of the pouch. Um, he'll stay with mum until he's about a year old, at which point he'll be ready to become independent from her. Sydney's Taronga Zoo has welcomed its first baby koala in a year. Little Humphrey is starting to munch on eucalyptus leaves, but doesn't stray far from his mom, Willow. 
Humphrey's birth is a bright spot after fires wiped out huge amounts of the koala population and their natural habitats. According to the Worldwide Fund for Nature, more than 60,000 koalas were killed, burned, or displaced during the 2019-2020 bushfire season. For a species that was already heavily impacted, these, this is a really disturbing number and one that we're deeply concerned about. Even those who survived faced losing their natural habitat and a lack of food. A government inquiry found koalas could be extinct in Australia's largest state in less than 30 years without urgent government intervention. Figures like that are a stark reminder of why koala births are miraculous. Back at Taronga Zoo, Sydney, the little joey named Humphrey hopefully signals a better day for koalas ahead. Midas the kitten is not your ordinary cat. That's because the four-month-old has an extra set of ears. The four-eared feline was born in Turkey, in the capital city, Ankara. She was part of a litter of seven, but the only one with a number of ears greater than two. Because of the cat's unique genetic condition, a kind human named Canis adopted Midas. Canis figured that the special kitty might otherwise have trouble finding a home. She reportedly fell in love with Midas at first sight. And Midas seems to be making herself right at home in a household that already has two golden retrievers. As for the name Midas, it comes from Greek mythology. King Midas had long donkey ears. According to her vet, all of Midas's ear flaps connect to her auditory canal, and her special feature doesn't affect her hearing or overall health. What big ears you have, Midas. They're all the better to love you with, my dear. This adorable little penguin is sporting some serious fashionable footwear, thanks to some creative middle school kids. After a recent scuffle with a fellow penguin, Perps, the brave aquatic bird injured her ankle, causing her to limp whenever she waddled. Thanks to 3D Systems Technology and the vets at the Mystic Aquarium in Connecticut, Perps received a new chance at living a normal penguin life. So we thought we'd utilize the 3D systems to take advantage of the multi-materials to make a, a boot which is better fitting, um, lighter weight, and could be less bulky for curves. Students from a nearby middle school assisted in designing a lightweight custom fit boot, especially made for the penguin. So when ACT came and showed us the different materials and showed us the capabilities of all of the different things that they could do, it really opened up our perspective of how much we could change this penguin's life, and that was the boot's elastic material transformed Perp's mobility. She can now swim and fit right in with all her penguin peers. Now this penguin can do a little dance with her happy feet. Hey, Mr. DJ, look behind you. Jody Fleming of Asheville, North Carolina, was live streaming music to his social media followers. They could all see the big black bear at his door, but Jody is so into the music, he's totally oblivious. A whole minute goes by before he finally turns around. He then calmly shoos him away. I wasn't too freaked out by it. I just thought it was a really cool experience and I was glad he was enjoying the music. It wasn't really scary. Like he, he comes around fairly often. I live in Asheville, North Carolina, which is a little mountain town, and we've got a pretty healthy bear population. And they come by fairly frequently. Uh, and I used to be a park ranger, and part of my job was doing work with bears. Sorry, bear. No dance party for you. When its own family didn't want it, this stork found another family that did. Yan and his wife Alicia Chesnick are now the proud parents of this stork, after it was rejected by its real parents because it was the weakest in the flock. The Chesnick saved the bird earlier this year when it was just a little chick. But that might not have been the worst thing. This feathered friend is now living the high life, munching on hair, chicken, and fish lounging in the grass with the new family and taking regular bird baths. 
Now one thing does threaten to tear this dork's new family apart. What to call it? Alicia wants to call it Friday because that's the day it was found. Yen wants to name the bird Krzysztof Piontek after the Polish soccer star who plays for AC Milan. <laughs> Either way, one thing is certain. This family is appreciating the time they've got with their new bundle of joy that delivered itself. They're not quite the bundles of joy Pusha the cat expected to have. But she loves these babies anyway. Pusha had just given birth to four of her own kittens at the park where she lives when her human friends brought her four tiny baby squirrels. The tiny babies had lost their own mother but needed someone to care for them. At first, the baby squirrels were afraid of their new mom. But with a little help from the humans, they became one big family. Pusha nurses the babies alongside her own kittens, and park keepers supplement with bottles of milk. The little squirrels cuddle up to their new mom to fall asleep, and she gives them a bath just like she would do for a kitten. Of course, there's also time to play, and the little babies love to crawl on their mom. It's a sweet and surprising sight, considering cats would usually be predators to squirrels in the wild. But Pusha seems to love all her kids equally. And the unconventional family is a reminder that a mother's love knows no bounds, even across species. Less than five feet tall, doesn't drive, and an athletic build are just some of the qualities one of the most eligible bachelors on the dating site Plenty of Fish has to offer. We're looking for some females to join our two bachelor boys that we have here at the park to be part of our breeding program. Spruce, a humble penguin looking for love, is on the prowl. He's joined Plenty of Fish in hopes of finding his mate for life. The penguin's profile says he's looking for chicks and is a family man at heart. It's the Weymouth Sea Life Adventure Park's way of drawing attention to the animals who are vulnerable to extinction. The park first reached out to other facilities for female penguins in hopes of mating, but it says none were available. So like many others in search of their perfect match, five-year-old Spruce turned to the internet. And hopefully we'll find a nice attractive female to join our colony. And with so many successful cases out there, he'll be enjoying fish for two in no time. Powerful stories that change the way you think. Impactful investigations that change the way you see. How many times has your car been stolen? Five times. Yeah. What? Do you think that you're a responsible owner of tigers? I damn sure do. We are love. Heartwarming moments that change the way you feel. <laughs> Powerful stories that change the way you think impactful investigations that change the way you see. How many times has your car been stolen? Five times. Yeah. What? Do you think that you're a responsible owner of tigers? I damn sure do. We are love. Heartwarming moments that change the way you feel. <laughs> amazing. Now available in a place that changes the way you watch TV. Inside Edition, streaming.